welcome to the www.sakalavidya.com viewers so far we have discussed tips and tricks and m search shortcuts or je means and advanced problems so now so we are going to deal about the problems related to the exam series so that is chapter wise and moreover soon we are going to upload the chapter wise engineering entrance examinations and also je main and advanced problems and soon we are going to upload engineering mathematics as well as a diploma that means polytechnic mathematics that is engineering mathematics also so stay tuned to our youtube channel sakalavidya.com or all the videos can be uploaded videos can be uh, available in www.sakravijaya.com so if you have any queries and comments so you can mail to us our mail address is mytutorpedia@gmail.com or you can follow our facebook sakalavijaya.com or even you can follow or you can visit our website that is www.sakalavijaya.com so now let us discuss straight lines so straight line chapter is very very important chapter for all state board examinations so one thing you remember from this straight lines two very short answer type questions will appear two two ja four marks and one short answer type questions may appear that is one into four four marks and one long answer type question will appear that is one into seven seven marks total weightage is 15 marks so very very vital role important role plays in actually in different state board examinations so my dear students you better go through the straight lines before going to the this my episode video lessons please go through all the concepts synopsis which you have covered in your classes previous classes or your lecture notes or your own notes after that better watch my video go to the each and every problem and discuss once again yourself and write you in your notebook okay i hope so you will do you will follow my instructions if you follow these instructions definitely you will do better in the examination okay my dear students shall we go to the problem okay first let us concentrate on very short answer type questions these very short answer type questions also very very important for to crack engineering entrance examinations of different state boards so that means if ha i have any time during the session even some shortcuts also i will explain but you need not mention in the your regular examination but i hope that you may apply in while writing your engineering entrance examinations so now let us start very short answer type questions on straight lines so very short answer type questions vsaq okay first question first question find the value of x if the slope of the line slope of the line passing through passing through passing through 2 comma 5 and x comma 3 is 2 so this is the problem so let me repeat the question find the value of x if the slope of the line passing through 
टू कामा फाइव एंड एक्स कामा थ्री इज टू सो लेट एस एनालाइज द प्रॉब्लम दिस इज वेरी 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 सिंपल प्रॉब्लम समटाइम्स द सेम क्वेश्चन मे बी गिवेन फॉर इवन इंजीनियरिंग इंटरेस एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो सेम स्ट्रैटी हज टू बी फॉलोड बट वी हैव टू जस्ट डिजाइन द प्रॉब्लम सो वी हैव टू थिंक वी हैव टू एनालाइज द प्रॉब्लम हियर सो विच फार्मूला इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर दिस वन विच फार्मूला हैज टू बी अप्लाइड एंड वॉट इज गिवेन एंड लेट एस एनालाइज इट वन अगेन नाउ दिस केस टू पॉइंट ऑन द लाइन इज गिवेन स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन इज ऑल्सो गिवेन सो वॉट इज द फार्मूला टू फाइंड आउट स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन पासिंग थ्रो एक्स वन कामा वाई वन एंड एक्स टू कामा वाई टू दट्स वेरी सिंपल फार्मूला वाई टू माइनस वाई वन बाई एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन दैट इज इक्वेटेड टू टू सो वी गेट ए लीनियर इक्वेशन इन एक्स इफ यू सॉल्व दट लीनियर इक्वेशन इन एक्स we get the x value so that's the solution only okay let us do the solution solution given points say like this a 2 comma 5 and b x comma 3 okay slope of the line slope is equal to 2 we have the formula is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 difference of the y coordinates by difference of the x coordinates taken in order y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2 understood so now using this one we can solve this problem now slope we can write y2 means 3 minus y1 means 5 by x2 means x x1 means 2 x minus 2 equal to 2 so now here we get minus 2 by x minus 2 is equal to 2 cross multiply it if you cross multiply 2x minus 4 is equal to minus 2 transpose minus 4 that side if you transpose minus 4 that side you know the rules of transposition transposition so minus 4 becomes plus 4 so 2x is equal to 4 minus 2 2x is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 divided by 2 so 2 1 ja 2 am i correct so therefore our answer is x is equal to 1 but in regular examination you have to follow all these steps unless you follow these steps the marks will not be awarded in the examination so my dear students you remember for board examinations definitely you have to follow the steps for whereas engineering entrance examinations by inspection also directly we can do it see directly we can say like this 3 minus 2 is minus 2 minus 2 by x minus 2 is equal to 2 so 2x minus 4 is equal to minus 2 2x is equal to 2 so x is equal to 1 so by observation also we can say for engineering entrance examinations i hope you have understood this problem second problem find the value of y y if the line joining Three comma y and two comma seven is parallel to 
parallel to the line joining line joining the points minus 1 comma 4 and 0 comma 6. Okay. Find the value of y if the line joining 3 comma y and 2 comma 7 is parallel to the line joining the points minus 1 comma 4 and 0 comma 6. Here two parallel lines are given, two parallel lines and two points on first line, two points on second line is given, these two are parallel. If the two lines are parallel, we know that the slopes of these two lines are same or equal. So, that means in order to solve this problem, first find slope of the first line next find slope of the second line. According to the problem as they are parallel or parallelism condition for parallelism is to be applied, both slopes are to be equated. So, that we get a linear equation in y we have to solve it that is all. So, let us solve this problem. First given points on first line, given points on first line are say like this a 3 comma y and b 2 comma 7. First slope of the first line m 1. So, that is we have the formula slope is given by y 2 minus y 1 by x 2 minus x 1. Now, here we can write 7 minus y by 2 minus 3. This is 7 minus y by minus 1. Multiply minus 1 both numerator and denominator sometimes you may get confusion do not worry y minus 7 by 1 y minus 7. So, m 1 is equal to y minus 7. Now, write down given points given points on second line on second line on second line. What are the given points on the second line? They are minus 1 comma 4 and 0 comma 6. Let us find out slope of the second line. Say that is m 2 for our convenience. So, here same formula you can apply difference of y coordinates by difference of x coordinates taken in order that means 6 minus 4. 0 plus 1, 2 by 1 which equal to 2. Now, we have to make a relationship between m and m 1 and m 2. Yes, we can make it because since they are parallel m 1 is equal to m 2. So, since first and second lines or parallel or parallel. Okay. Since first and second lines are parallel, we know that slopes are equal. If the slopes are equal, two lines are parallel. Converse is also true. So, that means now m 1 is y minus 7. You check here m 2 is 2, y is equal to 7 plus 2 which is 9. So, therefore, required value y is equal to 9. 
so my dear students so please follow this method or you can follow your different method also but the concept is very very important this formula is very very important and parallelism condition is very very important to solve this problem